In this second episode of 10 Years on Mars, Curiosity sees a mysterious light on the horizon, spots Earth in the sky, and crosses Dingo Gap, a perilous sand dune. Curiosity is now en route towards the central peak of Gale Crater. To make the journey easier, Curiosity has the ability to drive itself with no help from anyone on Earth. This enables faster progress, which means Curiosity is already closing in on an area dubbed Darwin. The light-toned streaks in the lower left center of the image mark the position of the outcrop that scientists want to examine. Curiosity takes another look at the layering making up the base of Mount Sharp from its new vantage point. This area looks particularly exciting and is named Perumph Hills. The team hopes to explore this area soon. On Sol 400, Curiosity examines the Darwin outcrop with its Mars Hand Lens Imager, or MOLLE for short. This four-image mosaic shows a ridge, formed when a crack in the underlying sandstone which was filled with a material that then eroded more slowly than the rock itself. Note the Lincoln penny at the bottom left, Molly's own unique calibration target for scale. While studying this rock named Ithaca, the rover's ChemCam laser is fired for the 100,000th time on the Martian surface. The arrows point to the dark spots left by 10 different laser shots. Analysis shows Ithaca to be a typical Martian volcanic rock type. As Curiosity reaches nearly three miles of driving, life on Mars begins to take its toll. Further computer glitches are followed by a loss of power, which temporarily strands the rover. This is tracked down to an intermittent short in the RTG, Curiosity's nuclear power source. At the same time, an even more serious issue arises. A routine scan of the rover's wheels on Sol 469 shows unexpectedly heavy damage. According to Jim Erickson, Curiosity project manager, we always expected we would get some holes in the wheels as we drove. It's just the magnitude of what we're seeing that was the surprise. Concerned, the team modifies Curiosity's planned route, trying to drive on smoother, sandier terrain. The trip to Mount Sharp will be longer, but hopefully safer for the rover. As part of the new route, Curiosity comes across a target named Harrison, which contains light-colored elongated crystals, most likely a mineral known as feldspar. Analysis using ChemCam shows the darker matrix material to be pyroxene, a mineral typically found in basaltic igneous rocks. On Sol 526, Curiosity faces another challenge. The modified route to Mount Sharp means crossing this sand dune, known as Dingo Gap. It will open the way to smoother terrain, which should be easier on the rover's battered wheels. But there's a danger the rover could become permanently trapped, like Spirit, its predecessor on Mars. While the engineers at NASA prepare to cross Dingo Gap, Curiosity is stargazing. Just after sunset, the rover captures a Martian evening star, otherwise known as Planet Earth. Look closely and it's possible to see our moon, too. On Sol 535, Curiosity begins to cross Dingo Gap. As this view from the rear hazard avoidance camera shows, with 6x6 drive, a little off-roading proves no problem at all for Curiosity. Curiosity looks back at its tracks across the perilous gap. To give you an idea of scale, the distance between the parallel tracks is about 9 feet, or 2.7 meters. After crossing the gap, Curiosity makes good progress and is aiming for an area named Kimberly. On the approach to Kimberly, Curiosity spots these sandstone beds, tilted down toward Mount Sharp from the rim of Gale Crater. The team interprets these layers as deposits from deltas flowing down from the rim into a small lake that once covered the center of the crater. It's a pattern that's repeated throughout the area. On Sol 589, Curiosity captures something that shocks scientists. A glowing light in the distance. 
Before we investigate, here's a quick message from our sponsor. Henson Shaving has sponsored this entire series and is giving you a free 100 pack of blades with every razor purchase, which will last you around three to four years. Just go through the link in the description or use the code ELDERFOX at checkout. Make sure to add the blades to your cart for the discount to be applied. Conventional safety razors often leave too much of the blade exposed. More exposure means more flex, and it's that flexing that pulls your hair and leads to irritation. Henson razors are machined to very strict tolerances, which means a calculated and precise blade exposure and blade angle, giving you a safe, smooth shave with no learning curve. It truly is a razor of the future, while also paying homage to sleek razor styles of the past. All razors come with a lifetime guarantee and are designed, manufactured, and packaged in Canada. It's one of the best razors I've found, and if you're enjoying this series, please support them. See the link below. The bright light puzzles scientists. Possible explanations could be a cosmic ray hit on the camera, or something as simple as sunlight glinting off a rock. But unless Martians wear tinfoil hats, it probably isn't our first sighting of aliens. The most likely explanation is a cosmic ray hitting the camera. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that fly through space. This is the most likely explanation, because another image was taken with a different camera at the exact same time, which did not capture the strange anomaly, or in other words, wasn't hit by that same cosmic ray. Even astronauts working in space have reported seeing strange flashes of light with their own eyes, which are also believed to be cosmic ray hits. When a cosmic ray passes through the retina, it causes the eye's rods and cones to fire, and the eye perceives a flash of light that is really not there. Thankfully, here on Earth, we are protected from cosmic rays by our magnetosphere. However, Mars has a much weaker magnetic field. Future Martian settlers may just have to accept and deal with strange pseudo-lights caused by cosmic ray hits. With so much great science, investigations at Kimberley continue for some time. This image taken on Sol 590 shows the same build-out of ancient sediment towards the base of Mount Sharp, with the mountain itself towards the left of the scene. Also, a small hill can be seen in the midground. So clear are the different layers of rock that the team dubs this site Mount Remarkable. On Sol 597, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is flying overhead and manages to capture Curiosity near the Kimberley site. Can you spot the rover? On Sol 609, Curiosity arrives at a rock slab that scientists called Winjana. The two-foot-wide rock looks like a perfect target for Curiosity's drill. As these before and after shots show, an area of the rock around six centimeters across is scrubbed using the dust removal tool, followed by test drilling to a depth of around two centimeters, and a full-sized test hole. The series of dark dots which are visible inside the hole were created by Curiosity's Kim Cam laser. The samples obtained are examined by several of Curiosity's onboard scientific test instruments. The results are analyzed by researchers back on Earth and point to the likelihood that flowing water was once prevalent in the area. Pleased with its work around Kimberley, Curiosity poses for a selfie. On Sol 648, Curiosity is looking at the sun and manages to capture something remarkable an object crossing its field of view. This object is actually the planet Mercury, and it's the first time a planetary transit has been witnessed on a planet other than Earth. As this map shows, by Sol 705, the rover is well on its way toward the Pahrump Hills at the bottom left. The new route designed to make the journey easier on Curiosity's wheels will take the rover through a valley aptly named Hidden Valley. However, this new soft-sanded route doesn't come without problems. After driving only a short distance into the valley, the rover's wheels seem to be slipping on the ground, and the team starts to worry that the rover may become stuck. 
Rover planners decide it's too risky to continue, and so order Curiosity to leave the valley and head back to more stable ground. In the next episode, Curiosity starts the escape from Hidden Valley, finally reaches the Pahrumpf Hills, and witnesses a blue Martian sunset. Click here to watch. Remember to like and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest discoveries. Thanks for watching Elder Fox.